this is BP. We're going to talk about J.R. Richard from the Houston Astros. He was one of my favorite pitchers. I play in this band called Of Montreal, by the way. But J.R. Richard was a badass. I guess you could liken him to like Dwight Gooden, but he was kind of like Fernando Val Valenzuela in the same sense. Like, man, he just had the magic. This was a tragic story, but yeah. today's not about tragedy. It's about overcoming. And fun. Definitely. Definitely. So how has your day been at Summerfest? It was hot and humid, but that's what you expect with Houston. Definitely. Are you from Athens, right? Yeah, Athens, Georgia. Home of the Elephant Six Recording Collective, which is kind of like our little birthplace. And uh, Athens is a beautiful town. It's a college town, and it's, what I, it's my home, so... Cool, cool. So your stage show was absolutely insane. I loved it so much. Where do y'all get the inspiration for the antics that go on? Uh, you know, I mean, if I had to like just spell it out, I mean, basically it's just any kind of like stuff that inspires us that you see every day. But uh, basics would be, of course, like Bowie or Prince or Sun Ra or Sly and the Family Stone. Um, basically, a bunch of like vaudevillian stuff back in the day. Anybody that was kind of like pushing the audience's uh, perception of what's happening, you know? It's okay to be like Neil Young and Crazy Horse and playing jeans and flannel or something like that from time to time, but like for us, what we're doing, we're we want to have like, if like Salvador Dali was gonna come to a show, we wanted to do something to impress him, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's kind of like the, where, where we're going for, you know? No, I definitely, I felt that. Like, I've never seen y'all live before and I was really looking forward to it and it just completely went over my expectations, so. It's awesome. But um, in your newest album, Skeletal Lamping, y'all have a song that says, I'm so sick of sucking the dick of this cruel, cruel city. What city is that about, and how big is its wiener? I, I think Kevin might have been talking about Athens, you know. Yeah, because, you know, we've kind of outgrown Athens. I think it's just early on, we, we weren't recognized locally as much as we were abroad. Our friends loved us. But it maybe was a bit, you know, where it was like more of like a grunge scene or math rock scene, which I was friends with the guys, but they didn't really understand what we were doing necessarily. So I think at first, like he, maybe it's a little bit of resentment Kevin has towards what the scene back then was just like, what do I have to do? How much dick do I have to suck to somebody to take notice, you know? So. That's really cool. Well, uh, are y'all working on anything new? Yeah, we're always working on something new. There's a couple of records in the works. The main one's called False Priest. Hopefully it'll be out in spring. And uh, to me, it's some of our best stuff. So I think it'll be the summer and spring jam. Awesome. Is it, is it going to be a little different from Skeletal Lamping? What kind of thing are we going to expect from this? Yeah, it's all kind of an arc. It comes, uh, all the songs come up from Kevin's brain. So his brain is always weird. And so in his, his, his brain's like a faucet that's always on. It's always on full and you just gotta just catch it, you know? So um, yeah, it'll, it's gonna be awesome. It's not, you know, it's gonna be weird but funky and hopefully people will like it. Can't say, sometimes you think people will, they won't. We just make music for ourselves and we hope other people like it, so. Oh, that's all you can do. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. If there's anything else you wanna say to Summerfest, um, I really like this band, Ume, who I saw. This girl, guitar player, is totally badass. She's like Sonic Youth meets Blonde Redhead meets a little bit of Joan Jett in the, in the guttural sense. I don't know if she would like that, but, it, but, I, hear, but I hear it. She's, she was awesome, and the band was really cool. So she's local from what I know, so you guys should check out Ume. All right, thank you so much. Ume.